All right, this time I'm gonna do color bash prompts again. Uh, the reason why I'm doing it again is because I forgot it, and this way is a little bit more easier than the first time I talked about this. All right, so we're gonna pimp our terminal, and if people don't know what I'm talking about, when you open your terminal, you have this, uh, you know, this line here. It doesn't look as sexy; it's just one color. Looks like a piece of shit. What we're gonna do to it is add some colors, and hopefully, it looks prettier. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're gonna use this Arch Wiki here, which has all the colors for us. Instead of us typing all these stupid little, uh, was it was these codes here or whatever, looks stupid. Uh, what we're gonna just gonna do is just type in like, be black or be red or be green or whatever, and so it looks more easier on the human eyes instead of you know looking at the stupid codes. Anyways, um, open up your home folder. Control H to see all hidden files, and you'll look for dot bash um, RC file here. Right, this file. So open this sucker. Display it here. So let's close out of that crap. Put this over here. Put this over here. Now anywhere in this file, you can paste this uh, code in. Let me see here. I, I use this color code. You can use this one up here if you want, but this is what I use, whatever. Same thing. So copy all that sucker, copy it, and then just paste it uh, there. And then you want to do is type in a uh, PS1 uh, line. This is your bash prompt. You know, this is how it looked like in your terminal when you open it. So PS1 equals. Uh, and then double quotes there. Now in here, this is where you type in your color. So let's say for example, I want to type in a color. I uh, first want to start out is, um, oops, is uh, was it two brackets? So open and close brackets, and then you want to type in the slash sign to have an escape code for those, and then you want to type in uh, the dollar sign, and then we're going to type in our color. So the color that we have in here, uh, we have a selection. You can use whatever you want, but I'm going to use the bold one here. So this one says B blue for bold blue. So I'm going to use that instead of typing the code, right? So all you got to do is type in here B uh, blue. I think it's case sensitive, so type exactly how it's you know, laid it out. And you can type in whatever you want. So, for example, I type in my name, right? And let's save this and see, show you how it looks like. So now, when you open your terminal, you have uh, whatever you just typed there. But that's really not the correct way you're supposed to do this. So that's just an example. Um, was it the correct way is to actually uh, use the what is this going to call the escape list or, the, or that prompt escapes so they do have like your username whatever for your current user so right here it says uh, slash you right slash you here for the username of your current user so that's what we're going to do when say uh, slash you and this one's going to be in blue okay so if I save it you can see that this is going to print out my uh, username and it's still in blue. Um, and usually, you know, in a, in a batch prompt, they have a dollar sign to start off your command. So we're gonna put in the dollar sign there, right? This dollar sign we just put in here. Um, and that's what it's gonna look like when you open your terminal. You usually have the dollar sign there, and then you type in, you know, your commands here. Uh, other things you can do in here is. Um, add in other colors so the blue line is going to keep going until you change the color so let's say I want to change the color so let's do the same thing again slash slash and then the dollar sign and let's say we want to do bold white right and what do we want to put in there we're going to do uh, the working directory so the current directory that you're in so this one is slash w lowercase w so what we're going to do is slash w and what's gonna do is that um, you know when you go into like CD uh, downloads or something, 
you see this one is the slash w right this part here is your current directory um, so this one is slash w this one is slash u and this one is where your command starts or whatever right um, usually what I like to do is add a time also so they have um, time in 24 hours you can do 12 hours like a.m. p.m. if you want but I like to use the slash lowercase t so if I do that I usually put it in right here slash t and um, what else do I, I like to do oh yeah I like to have a new line so I do slash n for new line um, yeah that's it probably save it and see how it looks like so you see I have my um, username the time in 24 hours I, and they have this is the current directory is just a home folder so if I cd into like uh, downloads it looks something like this by default so our username uh, the time and our current directory and down here is the new line with our uh, you know commands that we're gonna type in although I don't want this text to be in white so what you can do is change it to a different color when you type in it um, like when I said like you know like we have white right here it's gonna continue to white until you change it to a different color so what I wanna do right now is I'm gonna go add another color code so let's do that here uh, I usually like to use green so I'm gonna do bold green so B green there we go save that sucker and then open up again and you see if I CD, I use or whatever commands I would like to use, right? It's going to be in green. And there you go. Um, however, I also like this dollar sign to be red. That's just how the way I do it. So I want to turn that to red. Uh, and I'm going to do that right here. Add in my color code before the dollar sign. So there we go. That. Add in that. And then we go B and then red and I think that's it let's save it here save and now right it's the, the dollar sign turns red and everything is set the way I want it so I have my uh, well let's do this first so I have downloads so I have my username the timer um, the current directory and then the, the dollar sign is where my command starts uh, you can do some other stuff in here too if you want but it's pretty simple now that you have you know all the color codes here at your uh, you know in your bash rc file and make sure that the color codes loads before the ps1 line so this line has to be under the color code all right because uh, you know how they load it is by order so it's going to start from the top all the way to the bottom obviously it has to load up the color code before it goes to your uh, ps1 line so that's pretty much it for you know the um, what is that color bash prompts pretty easy now that you have all these color stuff anyways if you want to do it you can do it right